Howdy Ags, I'm going to show you how to utilize the registration worksheet. Uh, this is very similar to like Aggie Scheduler, if you've heard of that. Um, but this is actually built in with AM. So pretty cool. When you go to register, you can just click add all classes that you've already planned out and super helpful. So you can plan your classes now. It saves it. So then in a week or two or three, whenever your registration time is, you can go in and just click add all uh, as long as they're still available. So how do you get there? Uh, go to Howdy. On the My Record tab, there's Add, Drop, or Create a Worksheet of Classes right there. You can click on that. Or, of course, there's this plus minus registration quick link. Uh, either way, it'll get you to the same spot. Then from there, uh, you have all of the registration tools right here. Uh, of course, we're going to concentrate on registration worksheet. Then you can click on the semester. So you can do it for fall. You can do it for summer. I'm going to choose summer. That's where I want to take a class. Then if you have not ever created a worksheet for summer, then you'll create new. Uh, if you've already created one, uh, it'll show up below that, and then you just click edit, um, but you'll see that. So here it's pulling classes that I probably have on my degree planner for summer or fall. Uh, so it's pulling those on here. So if I wanted to go ahead and, and add those, I could. Uh, you have two options over here. You can add course directly, uh, but just an FYI, that adds just that class, so ALED 481. So when you go to then add that to your schedule once your, your registration time opens up, uh, it's going to ask you to pick a specific section. So just go ahead and pick the section now so you have it planned out, right? So I'm going to click on View Sections. Uh, there's two here. So uh, if you look, um, it's kind of all looking the same except for the dates, right? So this one will be summer two, this one will be summer one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a summer one class and I'll click add. So it moves it down here. And so now it's saying pending because I haven't saved it yet, uh, but I do have the option to then go and delete it if I wanted to. So I'm gonna leave it there. Um, if this class was in person, it would show up here on the schedule, which is pretty cool. Um, but since it's web-based, yeah, it's not gonna show on my schedule. Uh, so I can either go return to registration worksheet or, hey, I need a science class. Uh, so I'm going to click on search again. So in the subject, uh, after looking at core.tamu.edu, I know that I want to take geography uh, 205. That class seems awesome. Let's take that. So I'm going to type in geography. Um, if I didn't know what specific class I, I wanted to take, I just leave geography and do a search. But since I know I want 205, I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and hit search. So for y'all, um, if you need help searching for classes, we do have a video on that. So go check out our YouTube and there's a whole video just on searching for classes. Super helpful. Go check it out. Um, but since I know Geography 205 is what I want, again, I don't want to just add the course. I want to look at the sections of it, right? So if I do that, it pulls up this class. Um, which it is online, uh, and then everything else looks good. Uh, if you wanted to know restrictions and all of that kind of stuff, uh, you would find that there. Uh, but again, go check out the class search video that we have that goes into detail about all of that, just to make sure that you're, you're good with the classes that you pick. Um, but since I know I'm good for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add that. So there, I would be good. Uh, those are the only two classes I want to take over the summer. So I'm going to go ahead and save registration worksheet. Save successful. I'm good to go. So when I go to register, when my time comes, I'll go back to that registration, this one, and then uh, just click register for classes. Of course, I can't register for classes right now. Um, but when that happens, I would just click through and then uh, it'll show my classes there and I can add all of them or go to the registration worksheet uh, and do the same thing. So there you go. Knowledge is power. Thanks and gig them.